I ask for eyes that see, ears that hear, and a heart full of understanding. I thank you for whatever messages come through. I ask that you get them to those that need them. Thanks, guys. Okay. Let's see here. What have we got for today? Top card. Nope. Hmm. Oh, we have some ups and cards. Interesting. <laughs> uh, I'm going to ignore that. So. Okay. Oh, that one. Okay. What have we got here? Getting a lot of blue and gold colors. I know that oftentimes purple tends to speak of royalty, but um, for me, blue and gold really does that. Nobility. Precious. Okay, so we have um, card number 38, Zen Garden, says Inner Sanctuary. Card number 10, Bushfires um, says Fury and card 35 Authenticity Individual Unique Self Love. Okay, I took a moment because I wanted to actually read the book on um, bushfires here. You know, this is so. To be honest, I can't tell right now if I'm picking up on multiple scenarios and energies uh, probably but um and they're all kind of combining at the moment so i'm going to try and work through this but um i'll, I'll just read this to you for bushfires <clears throat> extreme emotions once engaged are hard to put back in the container anger is a healthy emotion yet fury is less necessary warlike emotions should be tempered unless survival requires it emotional intelligence is required at this time I'm feeling like this one just feels so intense, right? And then right next to it, we've got our inner sanctuary, our Zen garden. So it's really interesting to me that this is going on. Um, and then I feel like this one's hiding. She's got her hair covering most of her face and it's at night. And it's in the darkness, it's hidden the authenticity. So it's like saying to come out and be your authentic self. Um, I'm wondering, I feel like this is going two different directions that one of them is that you might be dealing with someone that lets all their crazy fury out. And Maybe you are timid around this. This is too much for you. Um, and so you kind of hide yourself. You're not letting yourself be seen. And this is almost like you have to stay protected inside. This is your bubble. This is where you're okay. Because if you come out, that doesn't feel safe because of this person that has explosive reactions. This is a tough one, guys. Um, I myself have been in this, this kind of situation. Uh, I would call myself a meek person. Doesn't mean I'm not authentic, but I am meek and quiet. And Having someone that is loud with their emotion um, can be very intimidating. And so, I, you know, I don't want to... 
I don't want to make you feel uncomfortable, but you know what? That's how growth occurs, right? So I'm going to say the, the stuff that's difficult. Um, try, try your best to come out of hiding. Try your best to know that no matter what, you will have your inner sanctuary. You will have your Zen place. You can always go back to it. And no matter how they react, that's on them, right? That's on them. If they can't calm themselves or be understanding or talk with clarity, whatever the situation is, you still can come out and do those things. You can still have your integrity and do your best to develop the relationships that you want. I, I am hearing to remind you about safety though. Please know that I am not telling you. If you are in a really dangerous place with someone that hurts you, please get help. Don't, don't try and come forward and be your authentic self with people like that. That's not, that's not safe. Um, gosh, my prayers for you, if that's the case. Um, but yeah, I'm feeling there's a lot of intensity with this card and I would like to play with the energy a bit. This, I, so, sometimes I, sometimes I judge myself, you guys, I judge myself because I think I sound weird, whatever, just putting it out there. Um, I'm going to flip this over. We're not going to allow that. To intimidate you from being yourself. We're going to cover you and protect you. I do want to want a little bit. I do want to grab one more card for you guys. I'm feeling feeling called to do that. So let me grab one. Okay, I was definitely not expecting this. They wanted me to grab another one of these cards. Um, this is the Gaia Oracle. That one, immediately. All right. <sighs> what do I do with this, guys? Okay. Um, wow, I meant for this to be like a short video, a quick thing that for you to enjoy, but this is turning into really difficult moment. Um, this is called the search, feeling lost, confused, lonely. And I asked what to do with this and it said, I heard to show you, show you. Um, and I think this is meant for you to not feel alone. Oh, wow. My heart is hurting. Um, for you to know that you do have help, even though it doesn't seem like it. Uh, What you are going through is part of your journey. It's part of a lot of people's journeys. We, we have all these life lessons and it doesn't make it easier to go through. I do not mean to diminish anything about your situation. Um, but know that you're not alone. Know that I, I am feeling you. If, if no one else, I am feeling you. And, um, I hope that this message, come, message comes through to you so that you know you will be okay. You will be okay. There is hope. You will make your way through. I'm so sorry that you feel lost and alone, maybe trapped. <sighs> Is there someone you can reach out to? Who is this person to you? 
Who is the safety place? Who is the sin garden? Even if you've not talked to them before, who is this to you? Who comes up in your head? Who comes up in your heart? Is it a mother? Is it an aunt? Is it, is it a stranger that you kind of see every once in a while that you don't actually know, but there's something about them? There is someone you can go to. I'm, I'm really, I'm sorry guys, this feels really strong to me. I, there is someone. And I don't just mean like the metaphysical, like guardian angels or anything like that. There's, there is a human here on earth <laughs> that you can turn to. You will not be lost forever. This is part of your path. You are getting through it. You are making your way through the forest. You will find light. And I believe that they're actually going to help you be your authentic self. You don't have to be in hiding anymore. You can come out. It's really beautiful. It's really hard. A lot of heartache, but beautiful. You've got this, you guys. You've got this. I'm going to leave it on hope. Right there. Ask for a covering for these people who are experiencing this situation. I ask that you lift them up and you give them hope. I ask that you reveal their help to them in such a strong way that they can't deny it. I ask that you help them to be open to allowing their true selves to come out. And I ask for protection against the one that has the fury. Thank you. Much love to you guys. Much love.